action. Good morning, learners. Welcome to our today's lesson. Uh, we are still on measurements. Our subtopic today is uh, fencing. Now, when fencing, uh, one can use uh, posts, timber, etc. So we are saying, when fencing, when fencing, one can, uh, can use posts, uh, timber, etc. So we are saying, uh, these posts or the timber are placed that is uh, at intervals. They are placed at intervals. So we can say they are placed at intervals. They are placed at intervals. Uh, also, we can say uh, apart from the post or the timber, we can use flower bushes. Flower bushes can can be planted can be planted uh, along the boundary can be planted along 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 the boundary. Uh, rod. Uh, we can also have in an open uh, distance. So we are saying that uh, when single items like posts are arranged or fixed at equal intervals on a close perimeter, then the total number of items, for example now, let's go to example one. Example one. Example. The first example. We have a call. Call intended. Intended to fence. is a rectangular rectangular piece of land rectangular piece of land rectangular piece of land that measures rectangular piece of land measuring 120 meters long and 60 meters Rectangular piece of land measuring 120 meters, that is long, and the wide is 60 and 60 meters wide. Using posts at intervals of five using posts at intervals at intervals of of five meters apart five meters apart five meters apart. A pet. Now the question comes in how many posts did he need? How, how many posts did he need? So we have this question uh, whereby we have Paul who wants to face his plot of land. It is now in a rectangular shape, 
basically, the first thing we need to do is let's have the piece of cloth. Uh, that is uh, the piece of cloth is in a form of a rectangle, and now the length is 20, 120 meters. The width is uh, 60 meters. So the first step is uh, find the perimeter of this plot of land. So perimeter is 2 in bracket, that is L plus width, close the bracket. So we have 2, our length is 120, 120 plus 60. So 120 plus 60 is 180. 180, so we have 2 multiplied by 180. So work out what is in the bracket first. So you are taking 120 plus 60, which is 180. Open that bracket by multiplying by this 2. So that is 360, uh, of course, meters. So that is the length of this plot. Then this person is going to fence this plot using the intervals of 5 meters apart. So it means from one pole to the other pole is 5 meters apart. So basically now, we are going to have this. For us to get the number of poles, number of poles, number of posts. So we are saying the number of poles, uh, posts is equivalent to the perimeter. We have, we have is equals to perimeter over length of interval over length of the interval. So our perimeter here, we have 360. Divide by the length of the interval is 5 meters. So we, we simplify there, 5, 1, 5 into 36 is 7, which is 35. Uh, into 10 is 2. So we have 72 meters. So the number of poles that uh, Paul is going to use to face his plot is to uh, is 72 uh, poles. Sorry, not meters, but these are now the poles. Poles. Those are the number of uh, poles that he's going to use to face his. Uh, Plot of the land. Now, we are also saying that when simple items like electric poles, flower bushes, or any other are fixed or planted uh, at equal intervals along a distance or boundary not closed, then the number of items on open length, we are saying the total length divide by the length of the intervals plus 1. I repeat, for instance, uh, we want friends to put, uh, to put that is post from uh, the school gate, for example, we are planting flowers from the school gate to the administration block. What are we going to do? Of course, we have the distance, for example, the distance from uh, the school gate to the Offices or the administration block is 360. For example, the distance from uh, the gate to the administration block is 360. That is an example. And the intervals that is from one flower to the other flower, or either we are arranging stones. We are arranging stones from uh, the gate. We want to paint those stones. So we are going to arrange the stones that is from the first stone to the last stone. Now, this is going to be different because, remember, this is open. The figure here is closed. So we are, we are not going to add one post at the end of it. Simply because when you put the first post along there, it means when you are going to fence this or you are going to put round the post, that is the last point, that is the last post. But the difference comes in whereby if, for example, it is open, so let's divide by 5, and of course we have 72. But 
The reason this is now, these are the spaces. These are the spaces between the flowers that we are going to plant from the gate to the administration block. For us now to get the number of posts, we are going to add one. You take the number of spaces or the intervals between the flowers, then of course you need to add one. So that now, for you to find the number of the flowers you are going to plant from the, the gate of the school to the administration block, it means you, you, you will take the distance, you divide by the intervals, then you add one. For example, uh, we have an example here, example two. So now us I want you to understand of course that there is a difference when you are uh, when you are putting posts along a close and uh, along, uh, for example, an offset uh, length. So for example, the length of a road leading to we are saying, example two, the distance from the distance from from the school to to the chief. Conversion of 
this is kilometers into meters so you multiply by a thousand zero take away the decimal point so you have one five zero zero so one thousand five hundred is a meters then uh, for us now to get the number of uh, the number of trees so number of trees we have the distance which is 1500 divided by the intervals which is 20 those are meters of course 0 and 0 2 1 2 7 and that which is uh, 14 and that is 5 so we have 75 then plus 1 which is 76 Now, remember the question is talking about both sides of the road. Both sides of the road. So, this 76 is for one side of the road. One side of the road. So, we are saying this side and this side. So, we, sh we, are, we are going to say that is 76. We multiply by, multiply by 2. There we have 12. That is 14. And that is 15. So these are the number of trees that we are going to plant from the school gate to the chief's uh, office. Now, our, our third example is this. Example 3, of course, is going to be the last example uh, before we Wind up the lesson. So, example three, uh, we are saying, example three, so we are saying, 30 flowers, uh, 30 flower bushes were planted, 30 flower bushes. were planted were planted 30 flower bushes were planted around a circular fish pond were planted around a circular fish pond a circular fish pond at an interval of 3 meters at an interval of 3 meters that is apart 3 meters apart now the question is what is the circumference of the fish pond what is the circumference of the fish pond. So we have the number of uh, flowers is 30. Of course it is a circular so we can sketch this. This is a, a fish pond. Like that. Now then the intervals is uh, three meters apart. The interval that is from one flower to the other flower is three meters apart, and we have the number of flowers to be 30 uh, flowers. So for us to find the distance now, or the circumference, is the number of flowers, that is 30, multiplied by the spacing, which is three, and we have 90 meters. So the circumference of this uh, flower or this circular fish pond is 90 uh, meters. Of course, uh, uh, so we are saying that uh, we need more practice. I want you to do more practice. I want you to look for questions on fencing. Do more practice. Do more questions. And of course, uh, any cumbersome question, of course, uh, you forward to me. This is the reason behind this is because uh, more practice, of course, more perfection. 
So our lesson today has been, uh, of course, uh, uh, good, interesting, and uh, I want to thank you for listening, but the work should be done. That is my uh, last word today. Do the work, of course, uh, and forward the work for the marking. So uh, for, for an exercise, uh, those that is with uh, mirror, Exercise, our today's exercise, we have KCP mirror, K C P E mirror. Uh, that is on page 79. The page is 79. Page 79. Uh, the exercise is exercise 4.2. Exercise 4.2. Exercise 4.2. Exercise 4. Point two. So that marks uh, the end of our lesson. Uh, may God bless you for wonderful.